Have you ever thought, I need to make a decision that I won't regret? And how does this decision that I'm making affect other people? Well, the good news is that there are several ways to approach these questions. And you're going to want to stay tuned to the very end because we've got some wonderful suggestions for all kinds of people who have all different kinds of thinking. So from the get-go, when you're in the place of making a decision, like all of us, you want to make a decision that you don't spend years of regretting or years of saying, why did I do that? I can remember for myself, once again, most of my <laughs> big things are about when I uh, left America for a short period of time to complete my studies in a foreign country. And I was in the foreign country trying to figure out how to uh, really live in a foreign country. I was there with just one other friend. And so it was a really difficult time in my life. And I remember one day when it just I, I'd made some blunders with the language because I was learning the language too. And uh, I was sitting at a table and it was a, an important celebration meal. And I used a word in the language that I thought was the right word, but oh my word, the word I actually used was a curse word. And it was a religious setting. I was mortified. The table burst out in laughter, thank God. And everybody, were they were red on their face and mm -hmm. I had to say, what did I just say? Well, in that moment, I had a decision to make. <laughs> Am I going to own it and own up to it? Or am I going to spend my life as this would be my most embarrassing life moment? I made the decision right then and there to laugh, to own the mistake. And now it's a funny story <laughs> that I can use maybe to help you understand that by embracing whatever the situation you're in, that's the best place to begin to make your future decisions from. So if I'm in a place in my life where I'm unhappy, I don't like where I am, I don't like who I'm with, I don't like what I'm doing, that's the wrong place to make a decision from. Mm -hmm. If you make a decision from that place, guess what the effects will be? Right on down the line, probably not too far down the line, you will be at that same place with those same feelings. That's good. And so when you make a decision from a place that things on the inside are not good, you're not happy, you're not at peace, you're not at rest, um, you just don't like, you must get to the place where that's settled and you make peace with, here we go, what is. What is means whatever is going on in your life. Just make peace with it. Okay, it's not my favorite, but I'm going to come to the place of peace. And when you're at the place of peace, now you can make a good, clear-headed, clear-hearted decision that you won't end up regretting mm -hmm. later. I think that's so good for us to understand, Yana, that the energy that we create in will be the manifestation of that particular situation or circumstance. Now listen, many of you right now are saying, oh, yeah, I have made some decisions about ABC. And listen, I want you to put those in the comment box. Type in some decisions that you have made out of a less than good energy. And what was the result, the outcome, the manifestation of that? And then think about some decisions that you've made and you thought about the process. You thought about step A, about step B, about step C, and where that would uh, end up with a manifestation of that particular answer. I know for myself <laughs> that I am a processor and I am one who can't just in a moment make a decision. This is both good and not so good sometimes because 
All of us are faced with situations and circumstances that we need to make a decision right then. There's this ancient story, again, I'm going to refer to it, about Abram and Sarah. They had a call on their life. They had a destiny. They had left a position and were now entering into a new place in their life. And guess what? They'd made a few difficult choices and mistakes along the way. And yet now it is their time to step into the fullness, to step into all that the Lord had promised them from the very beginning. So do they continue in their destiny or do they allow their previous choices, the difficult energy to now create a new decision out of? Sometimes we just have to let go of what was and step into this present moment and say, this is right. And I know that it aligns with truly who I am on the inside. It aligns with my true identity and what I know that I know that I know the Lord has given me. And now step in to that decision and be good on the inside with what you've made. Well, I think that is so important to be good on the inside so that when I make that decision, I'm making it from the best place. I know for me sitting at that table that night. <laughs> the problem was there was only one letter difference between the word that I needed and the word that I used. But that little difference there was a difference in a good word, appropriate word, an inappropriate word. I remember looking at the people around the table and wondering, now how is this decision right here going to affect them? And so I made the decision to own it mm -hmm. and to laugh about it, which put them at ease even more because there were some young kids there and they were just falling all over themselves at this very religious <laughs> meal with this very bad word that came out of my mouth. The father was at the end of the table praying and he just looked up over the top of his glasses like, whoa, what? <laughs> I could regret that and you know maybe there's a little twinge in there but the good thing is mm -hmm. that I owned it I thought about how the people would react and so I don't regret it it was definitely used in my life to make me a better student mm -hmm. so that That's I would it. learn the language more mm -hmm. perfectly more uh, better for sure mm -hmm. and isn't that what it's all about taking the circumstances of your life and good. using that to help you make the best decisions. I, to me, if we can just see life like that and feel that goodness that, hey, everything is actually okay, mm -hmm. even the stuff that's out of control or feels out of control, it probably isn't out of control. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Shana, this type of a decision can be a mark in your life that now puts you on a path in which you start walking in the completeness and the fullness of who you really are. I know that's what happened with Abram and Sarah, that they now step into the covenant and the sign of the covenant, and they bring forth a child yeah. in that space. Sometimes just making that decision, trusting that you've done the right thing and walking it out, will manifest the true revelation, the fullness of who you really are. You know, when, when we were created, we were given this part of us. There's a voice inside of us That's right. that directs us. And if I'm in the place of decision, if I'll just tune in to that inward mm -hmm. voice, then nine times out of 10, I am making a good decision that I won't mm -hmm. regret. Well. Have you ever wondered, am I missing God's will for my life? Am I making bad decisions? If you've ever asked that question, I invite you to make sure and watch this next video.